Today is International Holocaust Remembrance Day. The UN designated the day to honor Holocaust victims and survivors. Joining us to talk more about this is Joy Nathan. She's the executive director for the Texas Holocaust, Genocide, and Anti-Semitism Advisory Commission. Good morning, Joy. Thank you so much for being with us today. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Uh, just as a point of reference for our, our viewers, uh, the Holocaust began in January of 1933 when Adolf Hitler and the Nazi Party came into power in Germany. It then ended in May of 1933. 45. That fact in and of itself some people might not be aware of. Absolutely. Is this why Holocaust uh, Remembrance Day is so important and its significance? Yes. So Holocaust Remembrance Day really commemorates the six million Jews who were murdered during the Holocaust. And this day in particular is significant because this was the day that Auschwitz, one of the killing centers, a concentration camp, was liberated by the Allied forces. Um, it, uh, some of us have, have grown up uh, seeing the images inside of uh, either on in at movies, museums, or textbooks themselves. Tell us the work that the Texas Holocaust Genocide and Anti-Semitism Advisory Commission is doing. So we seek to educate all Texans about the Holocaust, genocide, and anti-Semitism. We do this primarily through education. This happens to be Holocaust Remembrance Week for school children get grades K through 12. So it's an opportunity for teachers to teach about the Holocaust. And our commission partners with other um, synagogues, uh, organizations around the state, museums, to provide resources for everyone about what's happening. What exactly is being taught to, to our children so they can remember this very important part of, of history? So we're fortunate there are many resources that are provided by, uh, Texas has four Holocaust museums. So uh, we partner with those museums. We also partner with the United States Holocaust Memorial Museum, an organization called, called Echoes and Reflections. So what we do through our website is we provide resources for teachers, and then they can choose through a menu of opportunities where they can decide what's appropriate for their school-age children in their classrooms. To put in their lesson plans. Um, let's talk a little bit about anti-Semitism and why it's important not to ignore it. Uh, you, you just released a new study on anti-Semitism. We did. We did. We really least a study to the legislature and unfortunately what we're finding is that anti-semitism is on the rise and so this study marks some of the history behind anti-semitism and also off offers recommendations to combat anti-semitism we know about anti-semitism is that it's a sickness that happens in a society and while anti-semitism is focused on the Jewish community, it never stops with the Jewish community. It continues to those who are vulnerable. So how do we reverse that trend? Because for, for, for some time, for many decades, it was, it was steady. There was no ebb and flow. Right. So I think the key for us is more conversations. Um, and also for people to speak up and speak out. When we hear something that is inappropriate, we need to say something. You know, what we know from the Holocaust was that it was a series of choices that were made, that it wasn't inevitable. This was a, a society that was educated, it was elite, it was artistic. So if it could happen in Germany, it could happen anywhere. And so mm -hmm. the key is education. Uh, this is a very big subject. If our viewers would like to get more information, where can they go? Sure. So our website is www.thgaac.texas, spelled out, .gov. Again, www.thgaac.texas.gov. Joy Nathan, the Executive Director for the Texas Holocaust, Genocide, and Anti-Semitism Advisory Commission. We really do appreciate your time here and giving us a little more perspective. Thank you for Thank having you, me. Thank you, Joy. We'll be right back.